Yo, we're going to Tienes de Campo. It's a three-day stage race in Spain. First stage is a time trial. Then we've got a 160-kilometer gravel race the next day. And then the day after, we have an 80-kilometer gravel race. We're going to link up with some of the boys, some of the Girona heads, some of the guys on the gravel calendar. It's This race is part of the Gravel Earth series. This is the first race of the season, so let's get it. We are just shy of 800 kilometers from getting there. So shout out to another heinous drive. Seems to be a common practice with the crew here, so let's go. We've got like maybe three, four, 400 kilometers in we still got another 500k to go maybe a little bit less yeah. either way we're making moves we are in the middle of nowhere and i think we're going to the middle of nowhere so like where, where, where are we where are we? it doesn't really matter we made it terror de campos terror de campos day zero we made it before sunset i would call that perfect timing welcome to my career <laughs> How you feeling about today? I'm actually feeling excited yeah? to get going. Yeah, we're just good to get a race in the legs. Let's see where I stand. Ben's got destroyed, didn't it? Second best sparkling water in the game. What's the first? Vici Catalan. Absolutely slaps. We'll get some when we get back to G-Town. We're on our way to Tienes de Campo. This is stage one. It's a 19 kilometer time trial. It's about three o'clock. People are going to be start racing at five and then I'm off at like 5.50. I think a few of the Girona heads are also here as well. We'll clock in when we get there. Let's go. We're actually here early, which is a rarity. Usually we are last people to sign on and the first people to start. We got two more days to go after this. This is just the start. Let's go. Yeah, yeah bike check, one, two. We've got 42 mil Pathfinder tires, medium grip, medium speed, should be good for this terrain. We're running a 44-35 chain ring with a 11-34 cassette, which will give me plenty of range. It's a two by setup. I run two by axis, SRAM axis, which is the electronic gearing from SRAM. It just works for me, it's my preference for gravel. A Silka saddlebag with a CO2, it's also got a Dyna plug tool, an inner tube, tire lever, and also a spare quick clink, and a spare derailleur hanger, in case the derailleur leaves the chat, which it has previously done. We're using Morton Nutrition. For this race, we're just gonna be using 160s. Tomorrow and the day after, we're gonna be using the 320s. Honestly, it's gonna be like a 40 minute day today on the bike, so honestly, I don't really need that much nutrition for this. We run Wahoo Bolt 2. Arundel bottle cages are absolutely elite. You can bend them in, you can bend them out, and they hold the bottles like, arguably that's a little bit loose, so just bend it in and then push it on. We run Shimano SPD pedals, lightweight Pathfinder wheels to fit the 42 mil Pathfinder slicks. Shout out lightweight, great people over there. German engineering to its finest. We've got Quok shoes. Shout out Quok. We're running full Rafa gear head to toe. Today, because it's a really short stage, we've got the Rafa Power Weave bibs, a Pro Team training top. We've got a Cask Proton lid, and we've got some Oakley Sphera glasses. And that is a wrap. Let's go line up and sign on. The queue is probably massive, eh? Really hot. Elio Phillips, numero dorsal. Yeah. It's a bit chaotic if I'm really honest, like, but we're going off in minute intervals. We've got 19k flat out. And yeah, it looks like there's going to be people here for a couple of hours, but yeah, I'm kind of here for it. We're hydrated. We've got some carb mix in the bottle just so that we don't run out of any energy. Nothing leaves the chat. Let's go. Cool off. Uh, Nathan, John, John Nathan. <laughs> nice to meet you, John. Okay, I'm going to go. Good luck, bro. Sorry, sorry. Del Vici, let's get Helio Pips. Animo, come on, Helio. That was horrific. Jeez, that was actually horrific, man. Oh, fuck. I wouldn't want to do that again. But uh, I got, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I went the wrong way. And then I got a bug in my eye and it completely blinded me. I did, I did, I had them on and it still got me, the bastard. I can barely see out my eyes now. Yeah, there was another guy. I, think it was right, I need to get back to the car and wipe my face. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> that was a horrific effort. There's so many flies. Aero, man. Looking very aero. <laughs> Jet, man. Let's go! Oh, the long straights just feel like a 9 to 5 desk job. Like, it doesn't make any sense. 
The time trial went horrific. I went the wrong way and I also got bug in my eye. There was a ridiculous amount of bugs on the circuit. After eating plenty of bugs and plenty of protein in that 18 kilometer, 19 kilometer time trial, I don't need any more protein shakes after after that. I don't think anybody does. Uh, medical actually assisted me and they squirted me with uh, water in the eye. We got the dub with Nathan. Nathan dubbed on the Carnago. TT spec all the way to the finish. Did some horrifically high numbers to get that one done. We've got to unpack this mess. We're going to clean the bikes. We're going to get some scram. We're going to lock in and edit. We've got a pretty early start tomorrow. We've got 160, 170 kilometers on the clock tomorrow. How much climbing? A thousand meters of climbing in tomorrow. I think Nathan's got it in him. He's a champ. Ciao, ciao. Right, Tienes de Campo stage two. We are up extremely early. Everything's gone to plan except for the fact that I've left my nutrition at the Airbnb. That's not ideal. We move, John's gonna get the stuff and I'm gonna meet him at the aid station. He's gonna have it there for me laid out. Uh, it's gonna be a big day today, 170 something kilometers with about a thousand meters of elevation. I don't know. The guys are saying it's not gonna be that hot. I think it's gonna be pretty warm, but we will find out. I've got the Hydro Vest. I've got the Morton carb mix with me. So we've got some carbs along the way. Setup wise, nothing's changed. I'll have my multi-tool and my Dyna plug tool like, with me on my cargo bib so that if I need it quickly, I can have it to hand. Today's job, I think, is going to be tough for Nathan. Nathan's on the he's on the hit list. He'll do his best to protect protect his lead that he has, maybe even extend it at this point. So he's riding strong. Excuse me. Bosh. That's how you get to the start of the line. <laughs> you want to start at the front? Look where we are. Go Nathan, let's go! Let's I'm done, I'm done. I'm completely done, my knee's completely fucked. Yeah, I've completely cooked my knee, yeah. I crashed well. I crashed really hard. There's like four or five guys just came in down in front of me and we we're going like full gas. Fuck. I crashed really, really fucking hard. Coming into this like slight mud section, just like three, four, five, six people kept coming down in front of me and I just had nowhere to go. And I've landed on my left hand side once again. I've ripped open my cut. My kneecap feels like it's been moved around a bit, but we're chugging on. We're chugging on. Oh, mate, but like I carried on going and there was another crash, like, and I'm clearly having to head, and it was just, uh, just somebody who's lying on the floor like that. Like, completely like knocked out. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Nathan attacked the group that I was in, and I tried to go across with Scarby, yeah. and then I completely blew up. There's no way I could hold that man's wheel. I completely exploded. <laughs> yeah. The group to go with, and yeah. I, my legs just exploded. I said, I don't have that water, Jimmy. Do you think you're right tomorrow? Mm. We'll see how much um, progress we make this evening. Right, we pulled the pin on the race. We wrapped up, the knees, the knees are right off. We gotta go, we're back in our favorite place. The first aid station, because I've got a gaping hole in my left side. We did manage to stop at the feed and catch Nathan and a couple of the Armani heads. Yeah. Come on, Toby. No. There's a group of three at the front just pressing on. They, they've got an enormous gap. They're not getting caught unless something catastrophic happens. We're now back at the start and finish where they're doing Zumba class over there. Uh, yeah, so we're back at the medical tent. I need to get a scene too, and we need some food in me because I'm starving. We're just gonna chill here, see who comes in first. Nathan's a bit down on GC today, but we'll see how much ground he makes up. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Hello. 
How's the day? Today we slayed too close to the sun. I am now with one less good knee. He did try and go to the medical tent and get sorted, but unfortunately the doctor is sorting out probably about 15 other people that also crashed. You could see at the end of the day that there was just like lots of people bandaged up, including, well, I'm not really bandaged up, but my knee is in a pretty bad way. So actually my, my hip is more sore than my knee at the moment. Seemed like it was a pretty technical course out there. And a lot of guys, well, Piotr won after attacking on the descent. This descent, apparently, Thank God I never got there in some ways. Yeah, it sounded pretty gnarly by, by what some of the other guys were saying. Glad to see everybody else made it out okay on that day. Tomorrow, honestly, it's not looking good for whether I'm gonna be on the start line or not, but we'll wake up and, and see how the knee feels. I think tomorrow's stage is like, it's like 80K time segments. It's a little bit hilly. I think we'll rip back to the Girona afterwards, get back to the physio and see what the damage is with the knee. So let's go. Mate. How are we doing? Good morning. Good morning. Well, welcome to stage three at Tienes de Campo. As you can see, I'm in a tracksuit, head to toe. Yeah, your boy slept about zero hours of sleep last night. Uh, also, the knee is still tender. Like it's a long season, and I'd rather not risk it for the sake of one race. These guys have got a 70 kilometer race with two time segments. I don't know how technical these time segments are or how gravelly they are. Yeah, should be good crack for the boys and the girls, and we'll catch them out there. But the Armani crew are good crack, man. I'm really happy they're here. Kit's just launched, I think it looks so good. And they're just all super nice. Okay. Yeah, it's not my best. Actually on the toilet most of the night. I think maybe I ate some mud or something from the race. I was just like, ah. Maybe it was strategic, you know? Maybe I like ate some raw chicken just to, just for today. We'll see, we'll see. Well, not really, because I think like Groove is trying to beat Piotr from Classified. But Classified also has a team, so like, I think that'll be impossible to do anything against today, because they'll just do a team time trial with them in tow. All right, where are we, Elliot? We are at the first aid station in a beautiful town in the middle of nowhere, uh, waiting for the boys and girls to come true, pick up a feed. I think it's mandatory stop. It's the last day, man. You know, wrap it up in a good sense, you know. Get some scran in you, get some food in you. The boffy's kind of lacking. The coffee is, uh, there's not so much coffee at the moment, but it's good vibes though. Nice and sunny. Good temperature, good temperature. No overheating today. <laughs> Keep it tranquilo today. I think they would have just hit a time segment and then they'll roll through here and then stop for some food. And then they'll do another time segment afterwards. And yeah, we're just gonna post up, keep it moving. How's the knee feeling? The knee is actually pretty sore, pretty tender. Yeah. Hola. These people Hola. looked after me enough. So. <laughs> they uh, did a number on me yesterday. You know, shout out to them. Got me wrapped up. Yeah, it's a bit tender, you know. We're not gonna risk it. You don't like segment racing. Oh, well, this is like... Outside left, side straight. What happened? Rapid. Yeah. I'm Owen, I work for Team Amani. Should I look at the camera or should I look at you? You can look at the camera. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm Owen Searle. I work for Team Amani on the performance side, doing nutrition, coaching. Um, I've been sort of back and forth between the US and East Africa for the past couple of years, working with the riders. It's great to have them here. It's exciting to come from the camp where we've been training, bring them all to Spain, and put them up against the best guys in the world. Right on. Perfect. I was shaking. On the inside, I was shaking. Nathan is nowhere to be seen. Everybody else has rolled through. Yeah, kind of worrying because we don't know where the man is. Don't know if he's crashed, don't know if he's had a mechanical. The Amani team have rolled through, the Groove Gravel team have rolled through, pretty much everybody. And both the mechanic spikes have come through. We're gonna go and find the man. So that is the next mission, finding Nathan. Where might he be? And I'm about to rip some pasta with some tortilla, some sriracha and chili oil. And that is a diet of a champ. We've made it back to G-Town after a pretty heinous drive yesterday. Eight, nine hours, clocked in the car. Anyway, we're gonna meet up with Nathan this morning and Piotr and just go for a ride, shake out the legs after the drive. I've got the okay from physio to go and do that. So we're gonna go rip a ride and then catch up with the man and see actually what happened. And, and get a bit of a lowdown from Piotr who won the thing. So should be good crack. And we'll see what they have to say about Tienes de Campo. Hi, I'm Piotr. I'm racing for Classified Ridley Factory Team. Yo guys, what's up? 
I'm Nathan Haas. Just been told to introduce myself. We don't know what else to say. I'm not famous. I'm not famous enough for that everyone to know who that is. No, 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 no. Did an absolute okay. stint at World Tour, man. This man's got a fucking impressive Palmares, which is like the amount of results he has. Palmares is not some weird virus. <laughs> <laughs> take us through the day, man, because we saw you at the start and then we never saw you again. I was on the front with Lawrence and then we were just chatting. And I was like, oh, oh, mate, I gotta go. Did you hit the time segment? No, oh, man. We were like early oh. doors. We we're probably like 20 minutes into the ride. Oh, fair. And okay. When we were just chilling on the front and then. I just said to Lawrence, yeah. I, I gotta go. And I was like, okay. Right. And I thought I was gonna be back, you know? Yeah. And I'm just thinking, oh my, oh my God, it's getting yeah. worse and worse. And then I, my eye was just watering like crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then Gerard from Yeah, was he Mark, with you? Did he find you? Or so he, he was behind, he came past me, he said, are you okay? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll see you at the, the car. I got something in my eye. And then uh, Ari from Classmark as well, was a bit behind that. She was like, are you okay? I was like, no, no, you go, keep going. I'll see you after the race, because we traveled there together. Yeah, yeah. Then two minutes later, Gerard and Ari come back and they're like, no, we're a team, man. We're gonna take you to hospital. And so we rode back together, put me in the car and finding a hospital or even a pharmacy on a Sunday. Sunday, man. They'd in the middle of nowhere, Spain, is really hard. Well, likely yeah. nobody's working on a Sunday, man. All right, check it out. It's all good. It's all good, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it wasn't good at the time. Yeah. Look at the difference. Uh, you look like, yeah. you, look like yeah. you have a glass eye. No, we, we were uh, going down taking a left corner into some farm fields and it was some kind of gravel. Oh, just keep talking. Just keep talking. Keep talking. Thank you. Please, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I'm not sure if the Amani guy could see the hole, but he, he only jumped, so he didn't warn. And Toby was too close on the wheel, so he rode directly into it. Alexi, the guy in uh, on second place for GC, crashed over Toby. Some way, somehow, I could go around it, uh, and the other six, seven guys behind me, they also crashed. They all came down, yeah, 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 they all came down. So it was a pretty big one. Yeah, the bad broken thing. Bones, yeah. Broken bones, broken bikes. Yeah. 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 Rear stays left the chat. All I had was a broken ego, but these guys left a broken bones. It's not, not good, uh, especially this part in the season, that you uh, go back home with, with broken bones. But they were going I, full gap, so how long was the segment? The last one was 22k, but mostly downhill. You run a 46 tooth chain ring. Yeah, your chain ring's a bit of a dinner plate, man. Yeah, that's true. I wasn't prepared for this, but... It seems like people were just going over people at that yeah. point, so it's not like you're crashing yeah. mega mega yeah. hard. But it was just a lot of broken bikes. That's a wrap. Nice. Stay good. Thanks for coming. Let's get it.